Namaste and welcome. My name is Neeraj. I'm grateful that you are here today. Today we'll be talking about how karma exactly works or how karmic life cycle works. So I just made a quick screenshot or just a quick diagram of how it works and what it means to us and why it is important to understand. This is like a very serious topic, but I just wanted to take a quick few minutes to explain it in as shorter way as possible. X and Y axis. So this axis is the number of births that we take and the y axis is of course uh, the desires that we have so whenever we have a desire the ultimate almighty god or the ultimate reality whom whomsoever you prefer to call god will actually fulfill that desire and that desire can be fulfilled in this or the next birth depending upon your karmas which are your deeds so what happens here is that uh, to fulfill that desire you will be taking number of births so let's say you, you, you had desire one, desire two, desire three, four, so on and so forth. Uh, accordingly, you will take birth one, birth two, birth three. So it can be mixed and match of both as well. And for that, what you do is you do your deeds, which is your karma or action. So the God says that only action is, is what is there in your hand, not the outcome. Because you would have taken certain actions in the last life or the past life because of which you took birth in a certain way, in a certain family under certain parents for instance all you have to all you have got control over in this life and any other life for that matter is your deeds or the actions that you take the outcome or the fruits or outcome from those deeds are, is something that is not in your hand so all all of us we have this on uh, all of we have this uh, a lot of unlimited desires i want this in life that in life this in life so god is kind enough they will fulfill but essentially what happens is that because to fulfill the desire you will have to take births and your number of births could get on increasing 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 as long as you keep on desiring 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 and all you have got to do for that is you you take actions or deeds in other words you would have heard of the word that karma comes back that is what it means in a simple chart the x and y axis way and the ultimate goal for humanity is to reach the moksha which is or nirvana or the ultimate stage of the ultimate stage of the consciousness, which is the God himself. Uh, you can be belonging to any religion or any tree, uh, any location, geography for that matter. It doesn't matter. This is the universal law which I'm talking about. And this is the only way it works. So what happens is that, again, to reiterate, uh, the number of desires we have, uh, the number of births we take, and it keeps on increasing, 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 unless and until we control desires and obviously start realizing the almighty reality or the God and uh, how we reach that is basically we perform actions or do deeds. So our deeds are, are the only thing that is in our control, not the outcome. And because of the deeds that we have done in this life, our next life and the following lives will be defined, which is again the number of births, if you, if you understand what I mean here. And again, uh, this birth you have taken is because of your past deeds or actions in a similar way. Uh, so, for instance, like I said, we cannot control where we are born. We cannot control who is our parents. And we cannot even control it, what is our religion because we are actually, most most of us, the common man is actually born in it. A few of them, of course, change faces their priority later. So the desires are the one which leads to number of births. And this is the karmic cycle. When I say karmic cycle, it means that to every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction by the God. So you can call him God. Mother Nature, the consciousness, or the ultimate truth or reality, whatever you want to call it here, it is up to your choice. What happens? Who takes action? By Through our deeds, we take action, the human beings. Who reacts? The Mother Nature, the God, the ultimate reality, the real consciousness, or the supreme being, which I prefer to call Krishna, does this for us. So if you have a good action and good deed, you get the outcomes accordingly, which is decided by this guy over here. We have no control. And if you do a bad deed or something bad or negative to somebody, you accordingly get punished or otherwise. So that is the universal truth. So to control number of words, we have to control our desires. We have to win over them and to perform our actions above everything. So actions are the fundamental thing that we control in our life. If we make our actions better, uh, it will obviously lead towards God and desired outcome. Karma is our deeds and actions, what we do to us, to others to mother nature, human beings, other population and everything. And karmic life cycle is this whole concept together. Like we take number of births, which is our desires and, and, and that 
is basically coming as a result of deeds that we have. So this is like an S-curve. Uh, again, one important point I want to highlight here is that everybody is born differently. We are all unique. This also proves that concept because somebody might be born, let's say here, he has taken one birth with one desire. Somebody has thousands of desires and born like thousands of birth with thousands of desires. So this human being, just imagine my pointers, and this human being is very different. What we do, do on planet Earth is that we take this human being and that human being and put them into one classroom, one school, one job, one relationship, which is not appropriate. So everything has a different trajectory. Mine could be straightforward. Your could be going this way, this way, this way. Somebody can go just this way. It depends upon their own deeds. So deeds are all that we control. And this is whole concept of karmic life cycle. I hope this makes sense and makes you understand in the simplest possible way through a simple handmade diagram. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Namaste.